Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I wanted to show you some really cool settings in the PC emulator Nestopia. This will give you a very nice and authentic look and feel for when you are playing your Nestopia games. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up with my controller because I don't have it plugged in right now for some reason. I actually use a PlayStation 4 uh, gamepad here. So now I just need to bring up DS4 Windows. Pulling that up right now. Just to make sure that that's all set to ensure that the profile is good so that Nestopia will recognize the controller. So, uh, we've got the list of course open, pull up all the ROMs that we've got here. Yes, a bunch of ROMs, without a doubt. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so anyways, I wanted to go ahead and get straight into the settings. But first of all, let's go ahead and pull up a game. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean here. So let's go ahead and pull up a game. I guess we'll just uh, play a random game of some type. Uh, something that's not too boring or anything like that, I suppose, right? Uh, okay, here's the classic arcade game, NARC. Sounds like a good time. Let's go ahead and full screen that. There we go. As you see, I've got a nice, authentic looking scan line filter. Okay, thanks for uh, bearing with me here. I accidentally didn't have the controller set up for some reason. I could have swore I set up before, but as you see, we've got uh, NARC here. Like I said, I'm using my PlayStation 4 controller for some good action there. So, you know, ducking, firing, everything is very responsive, super uh, fast, and no latency issues or anything like that. I was having problems with accidentally shooting missiles because I forgot how to play this game properly. Let's go ahead and grab some drugs and cocaine. Run up to them to arrest them, of course. That's where you get the extra points. But it's more fun to just shoot them to death. I actually forgot how to actually uh, do it, but as you can see, it looks very clean. Uh, but it still has that classic CRT look. You can see there is a little bit of a desyncing, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a tracking look to it. And yeah, it just looks great. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. But first, I'm going to go ahead and change some settings around so you can see what the emulator more or less looks like by default. Okay, and now we're going to show you how the emulator normally looks. And one thing you'll notice is the colors are a lot brighter and definitely stand out a lot more. However, it does a really good job of showing the flaws of the actual graphics in question here. Like, man, there's no doubt that it does look clearer than the look I had with the scan lines and everything like that. A little bit of color bleed and tracking, but it does really outline a lot of the major flaws of the graphics. Like with what I had before, you notice, for example, there's a lot more definition uh, between the guy um, and the guy here, you know, I mean, with those standard settings, you know, it just, it might look better for some games than others. I mean, games that have kind of a more gritty look that really heavily defined and relied upon scan line implementations and you know color filters and things like that you're gonna notice a lot of clear graphical issues really I mean it's just not very appealing looking and uh, like I said you know some games probably look better than others with the standard settings but I wanted to kinda show you guys the settings that I do have the ones that I think to give it a nice and clean look but at the same time accurately gives you that TV image, you know, that the game really relies on to look good. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. So now we've got the game here. We're going to go ahead and go to the video settings up here in options. And first off, we are going to change it from the standard filter. Uh, you have another number of different choices. Uh, there's uh, scale X which uh, really gives it a uh, very cartoony look. Uh, HQX, which is kind of a similar variation as well as 2 times Psi. 2 times Psi is kind of similar, but at the same time, it does still give it a little bit of TV blurriness. 
The setting we actually want to use though is NTSC, uh, which is going to give it that classic TV look, but there's still a bit more that we need to do because all NTSC does by itself really is it introduces color bleeding, which um, alone looks ugly itself. So we need to go ahead and do some other changes to really show it off. So we're going to go ahead and go to the settings now. And uh, first of all, you got the field merging, you got auto on or off. There doesn't appear to be any difference, but um, you definitely want it to have on in order to maintain the most accurate color bleeding. Um, we're going to change tuning off from auto, and we're going to select S video. I mean, you can technically do composite if you want, but it does. Well, I mean, a composite just doesn't look as good. Okay, let's just keep it that way. S video all the way. Um, you also have RGB, which you could do as well, although it gets rid of the color bleeding, which is what we want to have in this case. All right, uh, but you could tweak it to your own standards. You know, you can do however you like. I just want to show you guys how I do it. Uh, then we want some scan lines. You don't want to use too heavy a scan lines because those are really thick and they just kind of look fake, honestly. Uh, they don't look like authentic scan lines. It just like black lines over the screen is essentially what they are. But if you use a lot more muted setting, I personally like it at around 17. Uh, it's where you can still see a very noticeable scan line look. Uh, but at the same time, it's not super apparent. Okay, so those are the settings I like to do. And then I finally like to do is TV aspect ratio um, so that it has the more accurate uh, TV aspect ratio. Just click OK and click OK again. And it crashes, but uh, don't worry. Whenever we get back, I'll have the settings all switched over. Okay, and now we are back. And uh, usually it's probably a good idea not to change the video settings while you have a ROM loaded. Nestopia does not like to do that, apparently. And then some people might be like, well, what about like FCE UX or some of the other emulators? I mean, there are some other NES emulators out there, but Nestopia is definitely the best. Trust me on that. I actually have been thinking about doing... Uh, some videos showing why I think it is the best emulator, at least on PC. I don't know about uh, mobile or Xbox or Wii or any of those, but definitely for PC, uh, most certainly. So we're going to go ahead and go back to NARC here. And go back to our full screen appearance there. Like I said, you want to do that to give it the accurate uh, um, you know, aspect ratio so it doesn't look too stretched out. See, our old CRT TVs, they kind of had that old stretched out look. And you can actually emulate some of those settings within there. Um, now, actually, you can optionally go without the TV aspect. I think I might have had TV aspect turned off before. So it makes the image a little bit taller. You know, like a little bit more height. Uh, whereas this is a little bit more square. I guess technically it is more accurate, but... If you're wanting to do like actual YouTube videos, like actually record the gameplay footage, you might want to have TV aspect off so that it'll look better for YouTube purposes. So you don't have black bars on both the top and bottom as well as the left and right. You can stick with just the left and right to give it a nice look there. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, NARC. I want to show you guys another game uh, with this uh, great emulation here. So let's go ahead and check out one more game, because why not? And, you know, let's pick out a game that is really ridiculously expensive, like Little Samson, a game that most gamers are not going to ever buy because of how ridiculously priced it is. And we'll see how this game looks uh, with this mode here. So Little Samson. Okay, let's play easy, why not? And, yep, this is definitely Little Samson, without a doubt. It's a classic uh, Mega Man-esque type game that uh, is, for whatever reason, really rare. Who knew? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is, without a doubt, a great way to play your emulation. If you want that classic look and feel, 
but you want the modern convenience of emulation, you know, being able to use your choice of controllers and being able to save state and whatnot. Um, basically, I guess the point of this video is just to demonstrate that you can have your cake and eat it too when it comes to classic retro video gaming. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think about my settings, and don't forget to grab Miss Topia. And, uh, you know, just let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If you have any preferred settings uh, for an Estopia or whatever, you know, let, let us know. You know, it'd be, I'd really like to see it. Uh, so that's all I've got time for now. Uh, thanks for watching, but till then, Down Phoenix out.